Here is a brief tutorial that might get you through um, assignment number five. So let's pretend your parents are going to give you a homework reward bonus for getting grades that are above your targets for your class. So let's just say you estimate you're going to get a 90 in math class. Whoops, that's in dollars, but I'm just going to change it just to regular numbers for the sake. Automatic plain text, just a number. Okay, 90, and in science, you plan on getting, oh, it's a little tougher, maybe you get 70. English, you expect to get uh, 70. In social, you expect to get an 80. And in job safety, you only expect to get like 70. And then religion, you only expect to get 50. And then phys ed, you expect to get 60. And what happens in math? And you actually only got 85. In science, you got 79. And then in English, you did really well, got 75, social, 85, job safety, you only got 62, and religion, you actually got an 80 because you did all your work. And then phys ed, you were really working hard, and you got yourself a 72. Okay, so let's just pretend this is what's going on here. Um, so what's the difference between these grades? All right, so difference is, well, I would say... Take this, subtract this, oh, minus 5. And then I can just use a fill down. My cursor changed to a fill down. Now notice some of these are, in fact, negative. I could use very specific conditional formatting, or I could just leave them as is. Uh, you can even have it filter as data validation, conditional formats is on here. Um, you can have it so it shows up as different colors just by the idea of what the data is. We're not going to worry about that right now. That's in a different... Uh, I've already shown you how to do that. Now, what if your parents give you a bonus? Okay. Now, first of all, you want the bonus to be doing an if statement to check to see if it's positive or negative. So what you do is equals if if what? Well, you have to tell it what. So first of all, you need a bracket what? look for a specific cell. I'm going to look for the one directly to the left of me. If this one is greater than zero, I put a comma and say, well, then what? Well, then take this value and times it by, well, what's the uh, bonus? Let's just say your parents are going to give you 10%, so 0 0.10. That's what it's going to do. It's going to calculate that and say, okay, if it's bigger than zero, take that number and times it by 10% or 0 0.10. You need a condition where it says, well, what if that's not true? So that's where you put a comma. But if it's not true, put something else. Well, you can put either a quotation mark for a value or just put nothing and close it off with a close bracket. So here's what's going to happen. That's going to show up as zero. Let's just see if it works. We know this is positive, so if we drag the fill down, it's giving me 0.9 of that 9. Awesome. So if this is a case where it's like 10 cents for every percent you get above, let's just say. And so I've shown that it works, and the ones that are negative, I, can made, them, I made them deliberately negative. This one and this one shows up as zero. Okay. Not that it really matters. Uh, we would need to get a sum. Well, you need to know how to use the sum feature. There's pre-built in, but if you also look, notice this little s capital backwards three, which is the Greek letter sigma for sum. Click on sum. It automatically might think of the ones above. If I wanted to know this, bam. I just highlight these cells and hit enter, and it will do it for me. So you got 490%, but that's not what you need if one do a proper average, okay? Perhaps I wanted to use a sum here because it would be like, oh, how much money did I actually make? Does that even make sense? And what if I do a fill down here? Is that going to be accurate? I wonder if it is. Because these are actually subtract. See, the problem here is that this is going to take 10% of this value, but you know what? Those are actually going to be subtracting the 8s and the 5s, whereas you don't want the bonuses to calculate. Um, you're not handing out negative dollars, so you just want to do just a sum, and it automatically thinks you want the ones above it. Hit enter. This is how much money should, is actually going to be shelled out. 
$6.10 based upon these differences. That's why you gotta be very careful about using the sum feature. So if a person who's the owner, or in this case the parent, well how much money am I shelling out for giving you 10 cents for every percent above your targeted grade, this is what they'd be had to figure out. And that would be the end of this brief tutorial on how to use the conditionals and fill downs of an if something is a certain condition, in this case positive, what would you do to calculate a percent or add that percent?